Hi, this is Wilson here from uh, Central International Private Limited, Mumbai. Uh, we represent CS Instruments Electrochemical Analyzer all over Indian research market. And uh, today I'm here to show you, uh, uh, you know, the macro program uh, used to run uh, different techniques. So the advantage of macro is that uh, if you want to run a CV, uh, you select a CV and then you select the respective parameters and uh, you know uh, sometimes if you want to run at a different scan rate after running this at a particular set scan rate then uh, you may have to stop i mean save the last run scan with a certain scan rate and then uh, you need to open the parameter window again for the new scan rate and then uh, you may have to rerun the program as you do for the first one and then you'll have to save it again for the second one but all of this can be automized with the help of macro command. So that gives the advantage of, uh, I mean, no attention being required once you set the whole um, uh, program and then uh, you can simply run. So this is now already a run uh, a CV with the help of <coughs> a normal uh, technique, uh, technique definition and the parameter definition respectively. Uh, but now we will try to run a macro program uh, we will find the macro command in under control menu and uh, here is the macro command so uh, there is already a, a macro command opened here so uh, each and every line is defined with some uh, meaning to so the folder uh, semicolon sorry colon uh, c colon um, backward slash and then the, the chi indicates where the uh, experiments are run and the respective files are being saved that location should be uh, defined here in the folder command so this c uh, backward slash uh, chi doesn't mean it would create a folder there so uh, there should be a folder already defined and uh, there should al already a folder defined with the respective name and the same name has to be typed in here so this wouldn't be creating uh, a folder that is not existing and then the next command file override is just an indication that you know any anything you try to save like uh, save cv1 so if there is already a file named cv1 then that would be uh, that would be overridden with uh, this command so when you do not write this uh, it would just skip scaling when you have an overridden file so file override is a safety thing that you know your recent uh, experiment has to be saved and this header is nothing but you know uh, whatever header you want to see uh, on top of your uh, experimental data screen that uh, you can define here so that's this is of least importance and in case you are willing to save uh, i'm willing to have a title over the graph that uh, you can define here now tech tech equal to cv 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 means uh, cyclic voltammetry so for each and every technique there is a short description uh, like lsv cv scv square wave voltammetry so likewise there are tefl and uh, you know you have the um, uh, uh, all these uh, techniques and their respective uh, commands defined in the manual so you can refer the manual and now e high uh, ei equal to 0 0.5 that just indicates the initial voltage e means voltage i means initial equal to 0 0.5 volts so all of these numbers are in volts so 0 0.5 volts and eh eh means voltage high equals to 0 0.5 and then e low that uh, is equals to uh, the e low el means e low voltage low equals to minus 0.1 uh, and then v v means the scan rate uh, v equals to point 0.1 that indicates 100 millivolt per second so if you want to have a scan rate of say 10 milli uh, 10 volts per second you should simply type in 10 if you want 100 millivolt it is it is in volts so if you want 100 millivolt 0.01 if you want 50 millivolts it's 0 0.05 and then sensitivity uh, s e n s equals to 1 e to the power minus e to the power minus 6 e minus 6 if you write this will be in the sensitivity scale of 1 microampere that can have a maximum current measurable capability of 10 microamperes 
then run run means after setting all of these parameters it will run the parameter with respect to the defined uh, parameters on the top now save cv1 save cv1 save uh, colon space cv1 this cv1 will be the name of the file that will be saving this particular cv and then if you want to run a second uh, if you want to run another cv without changing the e high e initial and e high and e low and just changing the sensitivity you just have to define the scan rate that is v equals to 10 so uh, uh, the first experiment is already saved and you do not have to even define the other parameters that you are not willing to change now v is equal to 10 means 10 volts per second and the sensitivity is again changed because you are scanning faster sensitivity is changed to 8 to the power minus 5 that is uh, 10 microampere scale which can have uh, a maximum measurable current of 100 microamperes without over uh, you know over overflowing and then run and then save cv2 so now your cv2 is uh, we are done with the scan rate of 10 millivolts uh, sorry, sorry 10 volts per second so that is done now for your third experiment uh, is like you just want to change e low e low down to um, 0, 0 point minus 0 0.3 and then uh, your scan rate you want to change to 100 uh, volts per second and sensitivity is also changed and then run and save uh, cv3 now if you this save uh, colon cv3 is just going to save the binary file in case you are willing to save the text file as well then instead of save you should be using t save t save means text save so there are many more commands that are explained more in the uh, uh, macro command scripting uh, section under the user manual so you can just uh, go through so this is a very long defined experiment I will simply run uh, so that you know you can see one uh, one after the other things are being happening okay so I have already defined if you have any errors then you try to run the macro it will prompt you with some error in the uh, syntax if there is no errors it will simply run the uh, uh, program so it's running the first CV that is defined from minus 0.1 to plus 0.5 now it's running the second CV with 10 volt per second it did very quickly now this is with 100, 100 volt per second now this uh, this things we have not seen the quiet time was uh, changed to 10 seconds and uh, probably it's a lsv lsv probably being run um, with 0.5 to 1 with a scan rate of very low scan rate seems like 10 millivolt per second so that's it uh, we have uh, we can we can find the data from the defined folder c uh, CCHI we should have uh, the data done so these are the data is uh, done now and uh, the rest of them were uh, uh, these are the data is done now and the rest of the data is were uh, done previously I hope uh, this helps in uh, running a, a macro uh, command uh, technique run so that will help you uh, do many things um, you know without any intervention in between and you can have the data at the end thank you please try and uh, let us know if you have any questions